What is up, YouTube land and fellow statue collectors out there? Welcome to another statue unboxing and review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Reaper by Level 52 Studios. This is based on Frank Frazetta art right here. It's time for a nerdgasm. All right, love doing statue unboxings, especially something new. I'm, you know, always checking out Marvel stuff. I love Marvel, I love DC, I love comics, I love Star Wars, but sometimes I want something different. And I am a huge fan of Frank Frazetta. I love this guy's art style. One of my great inspirations when I was in art school, this guy was, is a legend. So if this is your first time on the channel and you want to join Clan MCE, Make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of our content. So, Level 52 Studios and Frank Frazetta. This is what we're gonna be taking a look at right here. This is the Reaper. And the Reaper is based on art from Frank Frazetta, uh, actually sketchbook art. So, this was not actually one of the paintings that he had, but I, I love it. It is really, really neat. It's very, um, actually, you know, horror inspired. So, you know, you have the, Gr uh, the Grim Reaper here. Um, and then you take a look at the box. I love the way this looks. It's got kind of like a greenish, grayish, brown tone to it at the front and everything. And then there's, if you feel right here, it's got kind of like this glossy area that says Frazetta on it. So that's really dope, Legacy Series. Okay, and you see a picture of the Reaper. You spin around to the side, it says the Reaper here on the side. And then on the back, you have a picture of what the statue looks like. It's gonna be one six scale. And then something from Level 52 Studios that says, Level 52 Studios is proud to present The Reaper, the third release in the Frazetta Legacy series of limited edition collectible statues faithfully crafted to the actual Frank, to, to the actualized Frank unique, Frank's unique vision of death and his pale steed. Sorry, I'm horrible at reading. Based on one of the many striking pencil sketches he produced in his lifetime, The Reaper has been subtly colorized in a palette familiar to fans of his work, Death beckons silently toward his next quarry, while slowly traversing the bones of those slain in earthly conflict. Pale gray greens mingle with sickly ashen flesh as the John as a John Diced Maw of Death's withered mount hangs open, listless. Hangs open listless. Like I said, I can't read that well. <laughs> Undercuts of violet. Undercuts of violet round out the thoughtfully composed triadic color scheme of his beautifully uh, of his beautifully dour collector's art piece. Of this beautifully dour collector's art piece. I am really, really bad at reading. I should not read anymore. Let's cut that out completely. Anyway, I'm all about the art. Can't wait to get this thing out. It says Reaper Special Edition on this. It's one six scale. Only 160 of these were ever made. So that's cool. All right. So that's enough of the box. Let's get it out. All right, so this is how it looks inside of the box. It's actually wrapped in this uh, tissue. You have the side right here. Side, what is that side? Scythe, <laughs> meant to say scythe. All right, the detail in that. Looks pretty good. I like the paint work on it. And you got the hand holding it right there. So this is the only part of him that comes separate. Everything else looks to be pretty standard as far as it goes. Have the um, the tail of the horse. All right. With all that paint there and everything, they did a nice job on the paint. Really like all the different colors. You have like some grays there, and it's got kind of like a greenish grayish tone to it. So, let's see the face. Really nice. Look at the detail in the skull right there. Wow. Really impressive work. All right, and then that's the bottom of it, you can see. And it's got the sketch on the bottom, which looks really nice. They did, they did a great job on it. Here you go again. Great, great work. And that's um, the Reaper himself and his horse. So. The strands on the hair look very delicate, so I would be very careful. It does does feel very strong, so I mean, 
it, it could be brittle to the point that it might break if you, if you hit it too hard. The texture work on, on Death's Cloak is, is sick. Did nice work on that. With that skull right there, man. Wow. The teeth. This looks fantastic. Look at them ugly toes. <laughs> oh man, this is fantastic. And then you got a key down at the bottom where it plugs into the base. So this is gonna be a real easy build. There it is, the Reaper. <laughs> it's based on Frank Frazetta art. Looks, man, it looks just like the sketch. Now I saw the sketch in his sketchbook um, that they had that they released some time ago. Since I've been moving all my stuff around, I can't even find the sketchbook at the moment, unfortunately. So it's probably in my storage unit. So I'm gonna have to go back and take a look at it. But um, thankfully, I didn't, I've got to include this in the unboxing. Uh, they include a sketch of what that, that artwork looked like. So you can take a look at that right there. And that's, I think it looks pretty damn faithful to the art. He did really nice work, so I like that. That's cool. And I think all of the Legacy series are come with some kind of art. Because I, I did the, uh, the Cat Girl unboxing. And that one came with some art as well. But let's, let's focus on the Reaper. This thing looks really cool from top to bottom. Really nice work. I like the subtlety and the colors. It's not, it's not overly done, you know, because it's based on sketch work. So obviously the sketch work didn't have all of the painting you know to, to to look at but i think this looks really cool the way they did it it gives it that um death kind of feel you know somber and dark you know feel to it which which i think is done really nicely the base itself looks really cool you know he's walking you know with, i guess in hell you know over a bunch of, of skulls so i like that they've included all kinds of like the tops of skulls right here and as you go into the back you can see that they have some of the skulls peering through the mud that he's walking in like down here which looks really neat and then i really like that skull in the far back unfortunately it doesn't really get a lot of a lot of play in the whole thing it's got it's got horns so i think that's really cool that they did that i kind of wish they would have put maybe like one of those up here in the front to give it a little more uh, prominence you know something just to just to give it a little bit of a different look it gets hidden a little bit back there with the with the horse the steed looks really really cool i mean the hooves have you know uh texturing and and you can see that they're worn and everything there's like splits in the hooves which looks really neat love the way the hair goes over it and everything looks nice you know it's got really subtle texturing throughout the horse itself which looks really awesome you can see the veins on the horse because you know it's an undead horse so i think that's really cool i love how the paint you know it blends really beautifully so it's got kind of like a pinkish uh, look like a pinkish type of feel to it up here in the front here by the by the nose but then it like fades real, real nicely into this white that the horse is so awesome. And then the same thing, it's got this kind of like peakish color right around the eyes, uh, which looks really cool. I love the way the teeth came out on that. So neat, man. This is gonna scare the hell out of my kids. <laughs> cool, it's, it's awesome to see his work, you know, in, in translated into 3D. I would love to see something else, you know, like maybe like the, um, the Cleopatra that he did or, or one of the Conan ones I think would be cool. The texturing in that's done here in uh, Death himself is awesome. Um, I like it because it's very opposing to how smooth the horse looks. You know, you can see that it doesn't, it kind of like brings a contrast to it just in the sculpt, you know, outside of the paint. It, it's got a black tone to it, but it's not all black. It's got like these little bluish hues in there and everything, greenish bluish hues to kind of give it that blend which I think looks really good. I did a good job with that. And then even in the horse saddle, you can see more texturing here. It's done nicely. So the saddle itself has um, like a purplish tone to it. Same thing with like these little pieces that come off of it. I don't know what those are called, but it's got kind of like a purplish hue, you know, as opposed to everything else. It's kind of like white and brownish and, you know, bronzish type of feel to the rest of it. I like that that just gives you a little subtle color, you know, to change things up. The scythe is really neat the way it's designed. I love how it like curves there at the back like that. So it's got kind of like a flow to it, which looks really neat. And the paintwork up here is really good too. It's got etching and everything all in it. And it makes the side look like, or the scythe, keep saying side, why do you saying side? Scythe look like it's 
like it's been through some stuff, you know? And I love Death Space, man. Death Space is so damn cool, you know? It's like he's kind of like smiling at you, you know, a little bit. <laughs> so menacing. And I love the way the hair appears out and all that. They, they did great work here. You can see stitching in the clothing, which is neat. The way it looks like it's all patched together. You could tell that it's been worn and damaged. Yeah, this is really, really well done. I know this is not for everybody. This is not, you know, every, everybody's into Marvel and DC right now. That's really all we mostly collect and everything. But it's really cool to see some artsy stuff, you know, some stuff based on, on the guys that, you know, brought this whole genre to life. You know, Frank Frazetta is, is a big name and, and he should be remembered. And I like that, that they did that with this piece, you know, they, they bring him back. So really cool work, man. Thank you, Level 52 Studios, for doing this, for making this piece. This is, this is awesome. So I'm interested to hear, guys, what you guys think about this one. Are you a Frazetta fan? You know, let me know in the comments which statue from Frazetta's art would you like to see done into a statue. That's what I'm, I'm curious, man. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys, for joining me for another statue unboxing video. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.